Hey, this is Christelle and Elizabeth, and this is PD PDQ, where leaders soar. Today, we're going to show you how to do a quick formative assessment using an online tool called Kahoot. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is head to the Lake Meyer website. You're going to click on Swimmy the Otter. You're going to scroll down till you get to the book that says Online Tools and click on that. And that's going to take you to our Pinterest pin board where there are two pins for Kahoot. This is the student one and this is the one that we're going to be using to start. One of the great things about Kahoot is the options. It works on any device and can be used as a wrap up for a quick, fun, formative assessment at the end of any lesson in any subject. Let's figure out what action steps we need to make this happen. All right, once you've created your account in Kahoot, then you can choose to create a new Kahoot. So click Quiz. Give it a name. We'll title ours Kahoot and go. Then enter your first question. Why is Kahoot great? You can put an image here if needed. Your answers, it's not immediate feedback. I'll change this to the correct answer. Get rid of these because I only want two choices. Also going to change my time limit down to 10 seconds. And then click Next. These are settings I can put on it. I'm going to leave them as is. I can upload an image here as the cover to my Kahoot. Be sure to use Creative Commons when using images from the internet. Click Done. And then you can preview your Kahoot. When you preview, you will see here what the students will see, and this is what you will see. There are settings that you can change if you'd like to, to change how the, the game looks as it goes, but I'm going to keep all of those at off and go ahead and push launch. Once you launch it, you're going to get a pin and that's going to appear on your screen and then the students will enter that pin. So on the right is what the students see and on the left is what they see on your screen. Now once they push enter, they're going to go ahead and put a nickname in and then you'll start to see some names populating up there and then you're going to go ahead and push start now. Now you will notice when the question comes up it is not going to come up on the student's device. The students still have to look at the screen to see the question as well as the answers. The student's answers are going to come up just as shapes rather than the actual text. So they'll have to look at the screen to decide what to click. To click. So once the time's up, you get some nice immediate feedback, which is great. It's actually going to rank the students, but we only have one student playing since we were just um, previewing it. The students then can give you some feedback, which is kind of cool, and then you get a nice final results list, which is also pretty awesome. Time to reach out and share what you're doing or ask for help. The hashtag is PDQKahoot if you tweet. If you don't, feel free to email Elizabeth or myself. And that's the first edition of the Professional Development PDQ.